Hello and welcome to the latest episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with your friends at Peppermint Narwhal. This is a video series where we teach you how to draw animals in a fun and simple way while sharing facts about the species as we go. So let's get started. And since June is our world ocean month, we selected the sperm whale as the animal that we'll be drawing today. Now the sperm whale is made famous uh, from the book Moby Dick, which was written by Herman Melville. We'll talk a little bit about that story and the actual true story behind it. Now the sperm whale is the largest of the toothed whales and it's also the largest animal with teeth on the planet. Um, so we've listed its common name here. Below that you see in parentheses, we have its scientific name. And below that you see it's vulnerable to extinction. That comes from the IUCN's Red List of Threatened Species. So we have some conservation work to do for this animal as well. So let's get this out of the way. We'll go ahead and get started. I've got my pencil and paper here is how I'll be drawing today. So I'm gonna start off by drawing three dots. And if you're familiar with this uh, series or this uh, drawing, uh, you've been on a past episode, you know that three dots mean a curved line. So I've got three dots there for a curved line here. So there we go. We've got a nice curved line to start off with. And on the top of this curved line, I'm going to make another three dots for another smaller curved line. There we go. Just like that. Looks pretty good. And this is actually going to be the blowhole area, and we'll put in a nostril here. They only have one nostril and the nostril is on the left side, angled slightly left. Uh, it's actually a way that when they would spout their respiratory spout, or sometimes water spout as it's called, um, that would be tilted to the left because they only have this one left nostril. And that was a way that uh, people who would be uh, watching for whales would notice this whale very distinctly. Even if you couldn't see it, you would see that tilted, left tilted blowhole and know that it was a sperm whale. So, okay, so we'll go ahead and start towards the bottom here. We'll take this dot that we had left over. And we'll put a dot here and a dot here. To make another just curve line just like that. Looks pretty good. All right, so now uh, from this dot here, uh, we're going to make a big S curve. So you just want to make watch it draw this. If you've been on past episodes, you've seen the S curve. Uh, we're not going to use dots for it because it's just nicer to sort of make it flow. So I'll go ahead and go up a little bit, down a little bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna kind of come all the way up here and angle it just like that. And I'm gonna put a little dimple smile here because this is actually gonna be the whale's mouth. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and put an eye on this guy. I'm gonna make a little oval shape, oval right about just above that dimple curve. There we go. And I'm gonna color it in, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of the paper white, a little, almost like a little oval inside of there. I'm just not coloring in and that'll indicate a nice highlight for the animal. Now we'll go ahead and put a little curved line, just kind of mirroring the top and one on the bottom, just kind of indicating that eye sort of sets in a little bit. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty nice. Now for the top of the whale's head, we're going to come back here to this nostril area or the blowhole area, and we'll put a dot right about in the middle back side there. And then we're gonna put a dot, maybe just beyond the head here, and we're just going to kind of make a long straight line here for the back side. It has a very massive head. Um, and actually, this is a little bit of why this whale was popular in the whaling days is that, you know, this whole massive part of its head is actually filled with a very uh, rich oil. And that oil was uh, very coveted by people back in early, older days because they used it to light lamps prior to electricity. And the sperm whale's uh, oil was one of the cleanest burning. So they used it for not only lamps, but also lubricating machines. Uh, so that in the early industrial revolution, these whales were very popular because they needed that oil uh, to keep things going and keep homes lit at night. Okay, so I've got a dot here right below the mouth here and a dot right here. Just doing a long straight line here, coming right off of there for the lower jaw. And from this lower jaw, I'm just gonna make a nice little quick curve line here, very small, three dots there. And they have this very distinct, long lower jaw. It's almost like, it's a real long, it's almost stick-like, it's not very wide. Uh, so we'll, we'll do some teeth on that in a minute, but we'll put the bottom part of the lower jaw here, and just sort of another dot over there. And there we go, just kind of connect that nicely, just like that. That's looking pretty good. That's looking like a nice head of a sperm whale here. Now let's talk about these teeth. There are teeth, uh, like I said, they have the largest teeth uh, in the largest toothed whale here. So uh, their teeth are only on the lower jaw and they're very conical shaped. Uh, so they almost look like, you know, uh, cone shapes, upside down cones or 
uh, little V shapes. So I'm just gonna put those in here, indicated like a, almost like an upside down letter V. And I'm just gonna kind of space them out a little bit. Not sure how many you're gonna get on there, but just get a few on there. There, that looks pretty good. Now these teeth are only on the lower jaw. They would not be on the upper jaw. There's no teeth up there, but there are holes inside of the mouth so that when it closes this jaw, it's almost like a perfect trap. And the trap that it's made is for uh, its primary prey, which is very large squids like the giant squid. So when it closes this jaw, this squid's trapped in here. And it doesn't use these teeth for grinding or chewing. What it does is it just wants to catch it, get a bite on it, and then it essentially sucks it in like you would suck in a spaghetti uh, noodle. So that's how it sort of finishes off the, the, the squid that it catches. All right, below the lower jaw, I'm gonna put a dot here, just a little bit off the lower jaw, and a dot here for a little bit of a straight line. Just kind of extend that off, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to start with putting on the pectoral fin. And their pectoral fins, unlike other toothed whales, are much more broader paddle shaped, uh, almost squarish. So we'll go ahead and indicate that with just a very subtle curve line here. So I've got three dots there. And then I'll kind of continue that down. There we go. And then, like I said, this part's almost, like I said, very square shaped. So that, again, our curves are gonna be very subtle. So three more dots there. That looks pretty good. And then end dot uh, here, we'll use that and then bring it all the way back. And as you can see here, just a very nice squarish sort of dorsal fin. I mean, sorry, pectoral fin. So that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of extend this line there, finishing that off since I had a little bit of space. And we'll put another one of these uh, pectoral fins, which is on the other side. We're not seeing all of it, but I'll go ahead and indicate that with again, another three dots, very subtle curve shape there. And then this one, I'm just almost gonna kind of square it off there. So you're just not seeing the rest of it, but it's on the other side of the animal. That looks pretty good. Now we'll add some key details to this animal at the end, but to make the drawing a little simpler and easier, I'm going to uh, make a dot there, a dot here, and a dot here. And we're gonna make this big curve line. So it's kind of a big distance if you need to. You, again, when you're drawing these curved lines here, uh, you don't have to start at the end point. You don't have to work your way towards the, any, they're all sort of start at the middle, work your way, as long as you're making this sort of curved gesture there. So there, so the way the camera's set up here, I gotta be a little, it's a little awkward for me to draw that, but there we go. We've got that nice curved line in there. Now we'll talk a little bit about some of these important details on the lower back here. Um, it actually has a, a dorsal fin, which is actually a little stunt, stubby and often called just a dorsal ridge or mound. Uh, but we'll talk about that. And it also has something called knuckles on the back. But again, we'll come back to that uh, as details at the end of our drawing. So we'll go ahead and from this back of this pectoral fin, we'll put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here, and just make like nice curved lines for that belly area, that underside of the whale. It's looking pretty good. And now we'll take this dot here, put a curved line here, and a curved line, I'm sorry, a dot here, three dots, we're making a curved line. So there we go, we've got those three dots there, and I'm just gonna kinda bring those down for the underside of that. And this actual area here is called the peduncle. This is where the animal generates all of its thrust and power. It uses these big, broad pectoral fins for steering, uh, but this is where it's actually gonna propel itself forward, this big muscle group. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to take this little dot here and uh, just sort of extend it down with this subtle curved line here because uh, I need a little more space here. So there we go, get those kind of close together there at the bottom. Now from this one here, this end dot on the inside, bottom side here, I'm going to put a dot here. I'm gonna put a dot here. I'm gonna put a dot here. And I'm gonna kind of draw a curve line just like that. And that's gonna indicate one side of the tail fluke that I'm drawing now. And then from there, I'm actually gonna draw another S curve. Uh, and you might just want to watch me draw it. It's going to be a little gradual at first and then get a little longer. So we'll go up a little bit and then down just like that. There we go. Nice S curve there. All right. So from this S curve, we're kind of reversing it back off. And now we're going to go the other direction. And there we go. We've got that sort of nice reverse shape there. So there we go. Now from the back side, I'm just going to almost kind of round this off with like almost like a letter U or V shape there. That looks pretty good. And then now from here, we're gonna come back to this back side here. We'll put a dot here and a dot here. And we'll just kind of bring these together nicely. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna sort of add in, I'm almost gonna mirror that shape a little bit, just kind of show that ridge just like that. 
And there we go, we've got a nice ridge of that. Okay, that's pretty much done, but now we're gonna put on some key details. Uh, they actually have little ridges here on their uh, pec on their pectoral fins, uh, almost remind you of their vesture. These used to be hands and or feet. Uh, these actually whales evolved from land animals and they returned to the sea. So you can actually see some of those grooves uh, in the whales' uh, pectoral fin, those broad pectoral fins. Um, speaking of fins, they actually have a dorsal fin, although it's not really well, not very visible. It's almost you know moving in the direction of no longer having one. But they have a little bit of a hump here. Um, sometimes called a dorsal ridge or a dorsal hump. It'd be about here, so I'm just gonna kind of make like a little triangle shape right about there to indicate that detail. And now from that uh, dorsal ridge, uh, you would have these sort of smaller triangular shapes or bumps or humps that would sort of indicate, uh, these are called knuckles. So I'll put a few of these on here. They're almost like the vertebrae. You think of knuckles obviously on your hand. This is actually the spine of the animal, but it would have these sort of notches uh, called knuckles here at the back side of the uh, upper back, moving away from that dorsal ridge towards the tail fluke. Okay, that looks really great. Uh, like I said, uh, we're pretty much done here. We will add some nice little details here. They have some sort of wrinkly, uh, sort of ridges here. So I'll just kind of indicate that with some wavy lines here, right about there on the body. And again, this big muscle group, the peduncle, I'll just kind of indicate that with a nice little curved line to reinforce that big, strong muscle area. And that looks pretty good. We've got our sperm whale completed here. Uh, it's definitely uh, an animal made popular by the book Moby Dick. Uh, and, and that was again written by Herman Melville. If you're interested, the actual true story of that is the story of the Essex and it's a whaling ship that actually uh, was rammed by a sperm whale and then a number of the whalers uh, were trapped in the water in small boats and uh, it's a fascinating history story so if you're interested in history certainly check that out the story the true story of the Essex there's some great videos out there as well um, now again we'd love to see your drawing we hope you had fun drawing it today if you want to share that with us remember please use that hashtag minty sketch that can be done by having your if you're uh, need your help with your parents, have them post it online, use that hashtag. If you're old enough, certainly post it yourself and give it the hashtag. That way we can see your drawing and also check it out. And other people can see it as well. And remind people again of the conservation still needed to be done for this wonderful ocean animal. Again, we hope you liked this video. If you did like it, give it a like here on YouTube. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'll keep you updated on new episodes that are published. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you again here on a future episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with your friends at Peppermint Narwhal. Thanks and have a great day.